Hi, Richard Firth. We're in the boiler studio. We've been working on something really special for you. We've put together some short bite-sized tutorials to help you with your boiler repairs journey. If you've got anything that you want us to cover, be sure to make a comment below and be sure that if you want to follow the whole series to subscribe and hit that bell button. With that, I'm going to hand you over to our expert trainer, Roy Fugler. Hi guys, it's Roy Fugler here at the Viva Training Academy over in Halifax and today we're starting a new series, the How To Series. So what we're going to be looking at is how do we put boilers into chimney sweep mode, how do we test components, quick checks and tests that you can do without the use of a multimeter. So different manufacturers have got different menus on their boilers, so some of them we can access um, benchmark information, we can access chimney sweep mode, error histories, all that type of thing. Today, we're gonna to start on the Potterton Ashua, which for you guys that know, is exactly the same as a Baxi 800, a Baxi 600, the main Eco Compact, and the Baxi Ashua because they've stopped producing the Potterton Ashua. So that's what we're gonna start with. So we're gonna look at chimney sweep mode. So why would we put a boil into chimney sweep mode? The idea is when you're doing your servicing or filling your benchmarks in, we've got to check the boiler's flue gas analysis at high and check it at low to comply. And we've got to put those figures down. So again, it's quite a simple one for you guys that know, but for those that don't, here we go. So first of all, we put both control knobs from maximum round to minimum. So the hot water control, we turn it to minimum. Same with the central heating, turn it round to minimum. And then what we're going to do, we're going to turn the hot water on quarter turn twice. So we're going to go from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock and we're going to do that twice. That will instigate the boiler going into chimney sweep mode. We'll know it's gone into chimney sweep mode because we'll get the screen. It will come up 304. Now one of the things that can happen is when you're doing this and the system's warm, the boiler gets up to temperature and it tends to shut the boiler off. It'll want to modulate down. So the way around it is putting the hot tap on. By putting the hot tap on, that will dump the heat through the plate heat exchanger. So I'm going to put the hot tap on first. The radiators in this room are warm. We're in the boiler studio here at Viva Academy. And we've had the radiators on this morning because it's a little bit chilly for me. I'm getting on in, in age, so I need to keep my old bones warm. So here we go. I'm just going to put the hot tap on. So that's on now. So that's going to dump the heat. It doesn't matter that it's going to come on for hot water. Quarter turn twice, so three o'clock on, and then it'll come up 304. To make sure I'm going up to maximum, I'm then gonna turn the central heating one to max, and the boiler ramps up to 100, so that tells me it's in maximum. So then I could remove my flue gas analyzer plug, put the analyzer in there, do my flue gas analysis. Once I want to go down to minimum, I just turn the central heating knob round, and what's gonna happen is, the on the screen, we drop down to double zero. So that's telling me it's down to minimum. And again, I can do my flue gas analysis. So that's how on a Potterton Ashua, Baxi 800, Baxi 600, Baxi Ashua, and a main eco compact, we put the boil into chimney sweep mode. 